Hello, 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 lads, lads, and lassies. My name is Josh, and welcome back to another Kill La Kill. Last episode, Ryoko ripped off June Kets. She's back on our side. Is she gonna die? I don't think so. But, yeah, I mean, she just chopped her scissor blade straight through um, Harume. I was. I almost looked back at my notes. I almost looked back at my notes. But she just chucked the scissor blade straight through Harume. Ripped off June Cats. I think there's a scene that we have not seen yet because she's slight, like in her head, dream palace, whatever. She cut um, Mako in half, but now she's fine. So I think we haven't seen something yet. I think they're holding back for that revelation. And meanwhile, like off of the battleship, um, Ryagio is flying the spore weave thing into what I'm believing is going to be uh, Ren Renoji, no, that's not Renoji Academy, gosh dang it, Hinoji Academy. Um, there is a lot of moving pieces here, there's three episodes left, so let's begin this journey to the end, lads. I think the biggest surprise of this episode was Mako getting her suit back. I just... I didn't think we would ever see that amazing suit again. I wonder if she has a transformation. Because she never really trans... Oh, okay, is that the trans... No, no, that is her transformation, right? I'm trying to think. Like, did she transform... I think she did transform into that. Okay, yeah, yeah. But, oh. Man, I'm so happy we get to see that suit. That was one of my favorite suits of the se like the series. Granted, now we've had um, Gamaguri's new suit. Senegayama's new suit, Jakuzure's new suit, Inamuta's new suit. Oh man, all those new suits are so good. Ah oh, man. Again, I feel like so much has happened in this episode. I'm trying to think back to like the beginning of the episode. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, it's just like we, we defeated uh, Harume and it's like now we're here. It feels like I've watched two episodes in one. Really, like that's how much feels like how much content I've just seen. But yeah, man, Hadume was destroyed. <laughs> yeah, Ryoko's not messing around anymore. She literally took off her arms. But everyone was surprised when they were like, Whoa, the scissors cut off life fibers from regenerating. I'm just like, did we not know this already? I mean, maybe the characters don't know it yet, but I feel like at the very least, We've known it. At least Hadame should know it, right? Because the the dad said that he created the scissors to take on life fibers. I'm fairly certain that we already knew this, but still, just, just cutting off her arms like that—that that was brutal. And then the uh, that that other girl, the one that is not wearing any other life fibers. But the one that saved Harume, doesn't seem like she has like anything special about her. She just the the human that's work the, the best human, I guess, working for Ryagio. Maybe because like she doesn't really seem to have any powers, and she seems to also be completely in on Kool Aid. Like um, as long as the uh, as long as it's finished, I don't care what you do to me after that. So she seems to be completely down for the life fiber stuff without having any life fibers herself. Uh, yeah, the fight was great. I mean, it's always great. It's, it's kill a kill. But um, I think the best part of the episode was the apology of like, Satsuki going, yeah, I tried to use you. I saw you as a weapon. I was trying to groom you to fight our mother. But in the end, I really should have done. I should have worked with you instead of trying to use you. I, like the way that she worded it, the way that she's like just talked, like it was just the way I, how she said it. It's like even your even your apologies have to be dramatic and epic. Like yes, it's Lady Satsuki. I love that the Elite Four. I just I just love the Elite Four. I didn't know I loved them so much when I started the series. I just love that the Elite Four. Um, all had her back. They two. I thought she was gonna go for four punches, and then all four of them were gonna take the hits. But um, Senegama and Gamaguri took the hits, and then uh, Inamuta and Jakuzure stood with them. 
and they're like talking. I, I love that they were mad that she wasn't gonna hit uh, Satsuki at full at full force. <laughs> that I love. I just it's just so good that I love that their blind faith to Satsuki is what won Ryoko over. It's like yeah, they're nuts, but you know what? Everyone that Mako or everyone that um, Ryoko knows, they're nuts too. Mako, her family, the teacher, Trigger, and it just uh, I love that. Um, that I just love how she's talking to Harame and is like, yeah, you want to make everyone the same, but like, what's the point? Because all these wackos, that's that's it. That like, we live for these wackos. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I love that. <laughs> It's just a, a small thing. Mako's family. You know, they're not the most useful. You know, it's like, I, I've joked that Mako's an agent of chaos, and if she's that, then her family definitely is that as well. But I love that um, when they were saving all those people from the, the covers, that Satsuki, first of all, she took initiative, and she's like, these are my students. I need a medic! And that the family like you need medics we're medics well, really only the dad is and the mom dabbled in it and the son's just there to loot but um yeah i just love that the fan that mako's family is doing something on the ship that isn't just like being there i just love that they're off screen like yeah sure it's off screen but it's still off screen they're like yeah we're, we're taking care of everyone we're literally healing them just, uh, they didn't have to do that they didn't have to do that i would not have thought i would not have blinked an eye at that but i love that they thought of mako's parents being there um, the, <laughs> last episode when they tried to pull Ryoko out of uh, uh, Junkets and the thing broke I was like oh I hope they have a spare of that they don't just have a spare no 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 they have an army load of those vacuums <laughs> oh man just, just the show just, it's whack and the um, all those that that is a motorcycle that you hear. All those life fibers that they destroy, even the arms of Hajime, they absorb them or they 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 suck them up. Actually, I think the arms of Hajime are in Senkets now, but every other life fiber they've sucked them up. They're going to use them to make new Goku uniforms. They dropped off their wardrobe there. They didn't transform this episode. I wonder if we're going to get a four-way transformation, like instead of. Ryoko and Satsuki's transformation, we will, we will talk about that in a second. It's going to be like four corners of the screen, all four of them transform at the same time. That might be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm assuming that the wardrobe falling from the sky was their Goku uniforms, and... Man, the, uh... That, uh... What's the... Taylor? I think that's the, the term. That Taylor, he worked his butt off. This is like an hour. <laughs> but he does have his... I don't know if he lost his three-star uniform or not. I mean, he never went into combat. So yeah, I guess he's just had it the entire time. And just brought it out now, because now is the time to just start making new new clothes. But, uh, like I said, Satsuki's apology to Ryoko was so well-written. And their combined transformation. I love that um, in some shots... It looks like it became a whole picture within the, like within, I don't even know how to describe, like, you know, this is like not all the time, it, like, uh, it was different, <laughs> God, it's, I'm struggling so hard here, it was different for some images, but then like others, it like flowed into one whole picture, and I, that was really cool, it's like the synchronization that I had, uh, Satsuki's still using Life Fiber Override, which she's not synced up with uh, with Junkets, but thanks to a little bit of modification by throwing in a little bit of Ryoko's, a little bit of some of Ryoko's blood, a little bit of Senkets life fibers. There's one. I think it's Satsuki's blood, too. Maybe it's Mako's. But um, yeah, they modified Junkets to be worn to tame him, really. Um, and now Satsuki is able to have all the powers that Ryoko has, which it's going to come in so much hand. So it's going to be so useful. It's going to be great. Oh man, the fight between uh, Ryagio, Mako, not Mako, I mean, maybe Mako, she does have her uniform now, but Ryagio, R Ryoko, and um, Satsuki, it's going to be so cool, it's going to be epic! And then Satsuki did say something in this episode that I'm not sure if 
she meant it in the sense that she already knew or that um, now that I know I'm gonna address it like this but she said when I said that I killed our father did she I don't think she knew that they were related so I think yeah like in the reactions like wait what yeah uh, maybe I kept it in maybe I didn't but in case I did keep it in um, yeah I was thinking did she always know because just like that phrasing like I said that I killed our father but I think like, she was shocked to find out that they were siblings. So I don't think that she knew at the time it was their father. Um, but she's now just addressing him as their father now because technically he is their father. But man, I'm so excited to see how the show wraps up. We have two episodes left, lads. Two episodes left. These are going to be insane. I, I, I wonder if half of the finale is going to be like an epilogue or if it's... Gonna, we're gonna like I don't even know how the series is gonna end really like that's the one thing about anime endings like they they when they get to end they end like Gurren Lagann Code Geass I mean excluding the I haven't seen the most recent movie that's in canon with the show okay I guess they're all in canon I haven't seen the movie um but the, that end the Code Geass so, oof oof like I said, Gurren Lagann, that was really good, too. It was some of the best endings I think I've seen. But, um... k -On's, I'm sorry, I'm just looking at my anime collection. k -On, that was... That was a really nice ending. Bunny Girls... I hope we get more Bunny Girl, but that was a great ending, too. And Snafu. Snafu is one I really want to see, like, an epilogue to. But that was great. Ah, so many great endings. And they're all... <laughs> they're not even action anime. Oh, man. But yeah, lads, next week we're going to get into the, the top action. We're going to see Mako and the Elite Four versus that gigantic thing. Satsuki and Ryoko versus Ryagyo. I have a feeling... All right. I think next episode's going to end with the worst case scenario, which is going to be the covers covering the world. And then the finale is going to be, oh no, anyway. And then that, we defeat it. So like we defeat it. But oh, yeah, lads. Next, if you want to see my reaction to next week's episode, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and check out all of our other content on the channel. See you next week for more.